Hey, Vanessa. Yeah, you know, Staying Alive, just to let everyone know, what, what an underrated movie. movie. Actually, it was a movie, too, that John Travolta was in, and, and I, I love that movie. So, anyways. That was one of my favorite Did you like that one, too? I, I, I love feel it. Like, I wanted you know, to be John Travolta at the enough. time. I know. Who didn't? Grease yeah. and all that? Yeah. All right. Even wanted the outfit. <laughs> I think you do have that outfit. Aches, pains, bad moods. These things happen, but what if those things are telling us something's a little off in our bodies? America's fitness doctor, Dr. Rob, is back with us, and we're talking thyroid glands. First of all, thyroid, thyroid gland. First of all, where is a thyroid gland? Thyroid gland. Really important gland, and it's located right here at the base of your neck, just below your Adam's apple. And it's a butterfly-shaped gland. If you actually mm -hmm. put your hands right here, you can feel your thyroid. Mm -hmm. Right there. Very important gland. Yeah. Without it, your body couldn't function. And it supplies a couple of very important hormones known as T3 and T4, which drive all the enormous metabolic processes that occur in our body. And without it, you just really couldn't function. It's important for heart rate. It's important for your metabolism. It helps you process your foods when yeah. you eat. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel alive. It which drives our body. That gland is incredibly important. And unfortunately, a lot of individuals suffer from low thyroid or underactive thyroid, mm -hmm. what we call hypothyroidism. Who's at risk for that? Well, a lot of people are at risk, but especially women are really at risk, and especially women over 60 tend to be more uh, hypothyroid than other women. Uh -huh. Women that have recently been pregnant or are pregnant are at risk for hypothyroidism, and that's one of the panels we check while they're pregnant to make sure that that's occurring. Uh -huh. Now, there's other individuals who may have had radiation to their neck for treatments or have had to have their thyroid glands surgically removed, and now they're hypothyroid, so they need to take the medication to improve their symptoms. And you have seven clues that uh, our viewers can go through, Yes, right? we have seven great. clues. When you're getting up in the morning, you look in the mirror, and I know you like to look at yourself in the mirror. Oh, once or twice. Yeah, at least several times before the show. Right out here, if you look at your eyebrows, mm -hmm. if you have thinning eyebrows on that outer third... Nope, looking good. Yeah, you're looking good. That's a, that's a significant clue that you actually may have a low thyroid. So look at those outer eyebrows. Mm -hmm. If you find yourself on a day like today wanting to put on a sweater, guess what? Yeah. Yeah, that's... if you're having trouble maintaining your body temperature and you're cold all the time, that is a sign of being hypothyroid. Unexplained weight gain. You know, if you've been trucking along and your weight's been fine and suddenly you start gaining weight, mm -hmm. that's another one. Hoarse voice. When women will come in and say, you know, my voice is getting really kind of funny and I feel a little swollen in my neck. Yeah. Hoarse voice. Hoarse yep. voice. Sign of hypothyroidism. You have hoarse voice. Yeah. And then waking up in the day and having lots of aches and pains, muscle soreness. If you're working out and exercising and you feel like, geez, I, I, I'm sore all the time. Yeah. Low thyroid could be the answer. And then people that have mood instability. If you're starting to feel really depressed all the time, yeah. you definitely want to get to your doctor and get your laboratory checked because that's also a sign of underactive thyroid. So what do you do if you have these symptoms that we just showed you? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to go see your doctor. Go see your family doctor and get the laboratory test done. They're very simple tests. We look at the T3, the T4, the TSH, mm -hmm. get those parameters back. And in combination with the symptoms, you know, if you have fatigue, muscle aches, thinning, eyebrows, yeah. you know, you're cold all the time, you've got really dry skin, yeah. your doctor can make this very easy diagnosis of hypothyroidism, and then we put you on a pill, just a teeny little pill that you take once a day, and all your symptoms go away, and you feel great, and all those aches and pains and fatigue, and your energy That's comes it. up, and the weight goes down, and yeah. you're off to the races. And you're all set, so America's <laughs> Fitness set. Doctor, Dr. Rob, uh, website, americasfitnessdoctor.com, or what's What's the other one that you have? You have another one too. Oh, yeah, the institute, the alpha male institute.com. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely check it out. So, one pill will help you out. We'll post this on livingdaytv.com in case you missed it.